Welcome back to part two in the series Walter Russell CSI. In part one, I laid out some of the principles that are necessary to construct the fundamental particle, the basic unit of creation within which is the pattern. It is the seed from which a visible universe of motion will be created. It is only a basic model at this stage, but we will continue the development of the model until we have the full pattern ready for projection within the spiritual metaphysical universe. The image on the screen indicates that the potential accumulating at the rim will depend on the rate of rotation of the loop of force and the desire to keep the indicator, in this case the Sharpie, located at that zero position. In addition to this, another very important factor is the transition rate between any two locked potentials, in this case from the zero to the plus one condition. If that transition rate is fast, then the density of spiral lines between zero and plus one will be quite low. If, on the other hand, that transition rate takes a long time, then the concentration of spiral lines will be quite high, and this will have a profound effect on the image that is produced within the universe of motion. Notice now that as we continue our journey from the rim to the central hub shaft, we are moving now from the plus one to the plus two locked potential. Once again, we pause at the plus two locked potential for a period of time, and that once again traces out another circle based on the RPM of the loop of force. But between the plus one and plus two locked potentials, once again, we've traced out another series of spiral lines whose density is also dependent on the transition rate between the plus one and the plus two condition. Now, I will show at a later stage that as we progress from the rim towards the central hub, the transition rate is increasing. So it's taking longer to get from one locked potential to the other. That means that the density of spiral lines between the locked potentials is getting higher and higher. This has um, the effect, or at least it's manifested as increased uh, physical density and also in terms of heat and light. But at the moment, we are only concerning ourselves with the negative or the seed condition, which produces those effects. This model at the moment is based entirely on the metaphysical spiritual seed and, ha and has not yet made its transition into the universe of motion in opposition. You will notice also that as we progress from the rim towards the central hub, that the central hole is closing, another indicator as to why density increases towards the center. You'll notice that as the Sharpies have reached the center or as close to the center as they can get, that the density that that produces is very high. And this is because the arc uh, that the Sharpies are tracing out is very tight and very short. And so therefore, if the loops of force are rotating at a rate of a million RPM, then the, they will trace out a greater density of potential in, the, in that central area. It's important to realize that both of these loops, the red and the blue, are each generating. That is, they are each following a centripetal spiral from the rim in towards the hub. They are not a generative and a radiative expression. They are both generative. This can lead to a lot of confusion with Walter's drawings because he tends to sometimes express a spiral as a radiative expression. And then it looks as if he's also in another drawing expressing exactly the same spiral as a generative spiral. But once you know that the motion is moving from the rim to the hub, it has to be centripetal and it has to be generating. 